Hey guys, this is the day-to-day -day of art route. I want to do day-to-day uh, -day mostly because the art route days are pretty much always the same. Uh, we would, I would usually wake up uh, around six or six thirty because the stage would start at seven. Usually, Carolina would be still asleep, so I would try to do everything in quietly and in the dark. Um, then I would head to race uh, start, usually um, the race would start around 7, uh, people would gather uh, around the race start providing uh, or with, with warm clothes because it was still pretty chilly in the morning. Um, race organization also offered transport to one backpack so you could drop your uh, backpack with them on that back on that big uh, truck back there uh, they would carry all the way to the finish uh, cafe pod was also providing free coffee and they came all the way to from the UK and they've been supporting this race uh, I believe since it started around 7 or 7 30 it would vary from day to day um, we would get on the roads uh, we had the opportunity to have uh, mar mar marvelous uh, views uh, during all week um, and we would pretty much race each other to the top of the climbs usually at the top of the climbs there would be a time stop where race organization would provide a aid station a big aid station with good food and a great variety of options we would get on the bike again um, climb some more calls uh, never easy day on our routes um, probably we would do two three calls a day and uh, again at the top of each call we would have a good day session sometimes we will also go down those calls uh, most of the, the downhill uh, sections were neutralized so no timing uh, so you could uh, go down the hills in safety and providing uh, just a peace of mind for every rider to just take it easy down the hill. Um, we would get back on the road and usually uh, uphill finish. I was, I think, every day was a uphill finish, except the final day where we finished in Nice. And once you cross the line, we would get a very war warm welcome from. Uh, art route organization with a nice little little village organized um, by the the race um, we would collect our backpacks immediately uh, after we finish we would have uh, our personal belongings on that backpacks race organization would provide a park velo where you could store your bike and just leave it there for a few hours while you did just this uh, massage, uh, usually a 15 20 minute massage provided free every day by the organization, as well as a hot meal with um, three or four courses plus dessert, so pretty nice meal. Um, race mechanics were always available just in case you had something with your bike. Sometimes I would also try to get a swim in, it's not always the best pools. Uh, sometimes I also try to get a run in. Actually, I did get a run in every day. <laughs> and then uh, towards the end of the day, around 6 p.m., we would gather for uh, price giving uh, and uh, overview of the next day stage. And we would be off around 7 p.m. We would all get released back to our rooms, uh, have a nice, uh, nice uh, night of sleep and all we started all again the next day for seven days thank you for watching this video catch back tomorrow for uh frequently asked questions regarding the art route